Hi my crafties, it's Tree. I hope you're having a good and crafty day. I'm here to share with you what I sent my craft partner um, in the baggy flip swap. It is hosted by Marianne at Marianne's Craft Corner and Gloria at Gloria's Halls Crafts and More. And um, my partner is Angelica over at Crafters Treats 2017. Please check her out. She's so talented and I'm way behind on watching her videos. I'm way behind on watching everybody's videos. Anyway. Everybody in the group will be linked in the description box below, so check them all out. And um, I also have a hashtag. It is hashtag baggy flip swap. And um, that way you can see what everybody else is doing. And so we were supposed to make a baggy flip, like a tag flip, but with baggies. And um, I'm going to say thank you, Marianne and Gloria, for... Um, Posting this fun swap, uh, it really challenged me because I thought that I had uh, baggies that were three and a half by four and a half. That was our requirement. And then I found out mine were all way too small. So <clears throat> that was a challenge for me. And that put me a little behind. But anyway, I got it done. And this is how my baggie flip looks. I don't like the way that looks. It's very unorganized, but we're going to go with it because that's what it is. Um, and they wanted us to have all the closures on the bottom so that people could do the flip and um, not have to struggle with opening and closing. And, and you know, I hate, I don't hate too many things, but it hurts me <laughs> when I have to cut into a package. You know, you took all that time to make it beautiful, and then, yeah, I have to cut into it. I'm sorry. That's me. Okay. So, um, oops. <laughs> this is one of the first bags that I, well, actually, the first bag I created. Well, I'll show you that last, but, so this is the second one, and, okay, that car was a little noisy, so we, we, we let that go. Um, if you haven't noticed, I used the Maggie Holmes Woodland Grove collection, and that is my theme. Uh, normally I go with a the theme and I I like doing that but um, this, it finally came in and I, I messaged Aunt Helica I said do you like Maggie Holmes and she's like yeah she's pretty stuff I'm like okay if you don't mind I'm gonna use Woodland Grove because <laughs> it just came and I'm dying to cut into it <laughs> it's a really pretty collection I still like garden party the best so anyway this is a cabochon from BB craft um, I will have that linked in the description box below. And then these are the puffy, or not puffy, the layered stickers that I had to have. Now, um, I did use a magnetic closure on this. However, my tab should have ended down here. Ladies, when they say measure twice, cut once, a uh, tree needs to measure 10,000 times and then cut, because I still got it wrong. So, um, I wanted this to come all the way down here. But I wanted this to come here and I measured wrong and it ended up here. So that makes the closure very hard to do. So you're going to see my magnet. Let me pull these out. We had requirements and that was that um, one was that we had to have a dangle. I thought a dangle was anything that you created that dangled on the side of something. Kathy corrected me and said that it has to be on a chain. So um, I put a bunch of things on a chain here. Um, a lot of these came from Lasagna over at Miss Doll's Handmade Creations. Thank you, Lasagna, for helping me with my craft and making it look so good. The clasp is one. Um, these dangly beads that have the wrap, wrap, wrap. Ooh, I'm off. Wrap, wrap, wrap right there. Uh, maybe you can see it better on this one. See how that's wrapped around a couple times. And then this one, and there's another old charm, this one. And then Marianne gifted me this bow, as well as the teapot. And I got some of these from Timu, but Marianne also gifted me some of these, so I'm so grateful. Now, whenever you have a cabochon, all you have to do is use your E6000 and glue on a clear bale or a metal bale, whichever you prefer. So um, yeah, it, I, I think it turned out okay. I'm not good at those things. <laughs> All right, next up um, is just a gift because I wanted to, and um, I did. 
so I've been watching this lady on YouTube or seeing this I had seen this lady on YouTube she makes these uh, pokey tools and she uses these um, safety needles but this eye is really huge because they usually stick like a yarn through it, it this is for kids and none of my beads would fit around that so what I did was I just cut it off in the center and off one side filed it down and I ended up with this now I don't think you can tell that it's uh, a little off the center but um, I think it's turned out cute and then I put a little dangle on there so there's that I'm gonna struggle with my sleeves here and then we've got the ribbon we were supposed to include why not yard of ribbon it was really hard for me to find a yard of ribbon that was in my stash but I did and I really liked this one so um, it's got this like pom-pom thing down at the bottom or top and then this trim here so I don't know if this is the top and that's the bottom or this is the top and that's the bottom but Angelica you figure it out the way you want it and um, then I made these flower clusters and put that on the bottom oh and this is a tag that I created previously and it's in my uh, not my skin it's in my canvas workspace so if you don't know canvas workspace is a free source if you can create anything in there that you want and cut it out or send it to your printer and then fussy cut it no affiliate there I just like working with it all right so and then I made a chip bag um, if you don't know, I just make a policy envelope, but I don't fold the tabs up and I don't cut any of them off. It's just straight. And then I use my scoreboard to um, every quarter of an inch and I use my pinky and shears to cut the edge. Now, I don't like having to cut into your packages because you make time. You, you used your time and effort and made it beautiful. And it kind of hurts me to cut in there and I'm like, oh, pains. Um, this is just a puffy sticker from the Thickers in the Woodland Grove collection and it's sewing clip. So it's just there like that. And then these are the flower clusters that I made for Angelica. So that goes there. And because I had cut so many of them, I didn't know how much I was going to use. I just created a bag and put those in there. Um, uh, here's that flower cluster again, and here is a little mini um, butterfly shaker. So that just opens up, and then I have a little bit of a struggle getting these bows out, but bows were another requirement. We had flowers, bows, one yard. Bows. Oh my gosh, I see that glare. Um, nope. Okay, so the two in the front, this is that KS, KS die, or maybe it's a Z, Z, Z party, ZF party, I don't know. I think it's KS craft. It's the angel wing bow, um, Dina at Dina's handmade, cre no, creative crafts and more. Um, she loves this die and I loved it too. I do have it on my um, scan and cut, but if for some reason I can't get to my scan and cut, I like having the die too. Plus it has two different sizes. So, of course with my scan and cut, I could always, we're moving on. The two in the front have centers and the two in the back are plain. So Angelica can embellish those the way they, she wants. So there's that. There is that Dollar Tree trim right there. And put that there. When I opened that, did I tell you that we, I made embellishments no because they're sitting over here so we had to create embellishments so there's one here and one here and then there is one here and one here so I made the embellishments then I made the bag and then I made the card and I had to fit the embellishments on the card that would fit inside the bag so that's why they're kind of squashed and uh, they're held on by a foam square just somewhere so they're not actually stuck to each other they're just on there all right so there's that and I did make her a larger butterfly shaker so that's there um, I did finally make her a card it's very plain very simple but um, I love these layered flowers 
and um, this is just a scallop circle die that I had in my stash so that's that my message to her is in there and it I think my message is private so I don't know if she will replay or tell you but it's up to her um, and we had to do two crafters treats no she's crafters treats <laughs> we did two two crafters choice projects Oh, I thought they were just crafters choice. I didn't realize until like ugh, the last minute that they were supposed to be um, fit in the baggies. I mean, it totally makes sense, but I was like, oh, what should I do? So uh, I have this uh, die from Erica at Scrap Divas Designs. Um, check her out. She's got great uh, dies. And... Um, this is called the Shaker Treat Box, I think, or Gift Box, and I see a, there we go. So, there's a little shaker element there. You can use it as a shadow box. You can put shaker stuff in there. It's so fun. Um, I used this cardboard sticker in there, so no butterflies were harmed in the making of this craft. Really cute, but I would never stick a butterfly on a stick. I'm sorry. A fake one, yes. So, and those are fake. Anyway, I'm moving on. It comes with the um, scallop frame, or you could use it as a background. It comes with the piece that cuts the acetate, but I don't use those. Um, and then it comes with the bow, both with the stitching and without. This is the thicker's heart in the gold and the one in the teal. And then I just added some diamond stickles over the top. One of the words is treats. Oh, 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 oh. The others are Joy and Merry Christmas. Um, I tied it with some Baker's twine. I have these little flower sequins I got from Michael's. And I was going to dangle those from the edge of both of these. And then I realized they would not go through there. So only one got done. <laughs> um, okay, so the only thing I don't like about this box. Um, well, okay. Maggie Holmes, Woodland Grove. Uh, she did it in a very, I think it was recycled paper, I'm not certain, which is great for the environment. However, it's very thin and um, it needed some bulk. So uh, this is, I think, 80 pound cardstock back here. Maybe I could have done better with 65 and that would have been better, but um, I did layer the two on top. Normally, I would just take and cut mats to go on something like this. However, I didn't want to fussy cut mats for in you know, all these little triangles and all blah, 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 blah. So um, this die will cut out. You cut out two of the front. There is no back. And so that cuts out a picture window on the back too. Well, I just stuck this in there. You can see it, but who's going to see the back, right? I don't know. I would rather this be one solid piece. Anyhow. And I could have just covered it one solid piece but then I wanted the pattern to be continuous that was the reason why I chose this menagerie page and um, anyway um, because I glued two cardstocks together I'm hoping that this little edge here will and these here will stay and not have a problem but they are doing fine in here are some little stars and butterflies and I think moons or hearts um, and they are supposed to be uh, glow in the dark so I don't you can't tell because there's a lot of sparkle and shine to begin with all right moving on I made her another little gift um, just a gift the one of the first things I made because uh, I was just wanting to cut into my garden or woodland grove and I knew we had to send trim so um, I used one of the rosettes fancy rosettes that I had created previously and I made a little cluster of um, ephemera and this woodland grove comes from the cardboard cardstock stickers and I just cut that off. Um, I have my fancy little nail butterfly charm thingies that I will never use on my fingernails but um, hey. Um, they come from Amazon and then uh, I love these acetates that have the white and if you really wanted to you could flip it over. I know it's still white. I thought it was silver on the back. Anyway, this is a little box I created. It's my favorite little, I call it the bakery box. Um, normally, I don't glue any of the sides down, and then it can fold flat. No, that's not true either, because I glue the this 
Anyway, we'll leave it on. I like it because I will never lose the lid. It's all attached. <laughs> so it opens up like that. And I have three ribbon trims from the dollar store. There is a um, straw in there that is holding it. And I thought, well, if she ever wants to replace it or how is she going to get that plastic off? So I did not glue these two sides down. I let it flop open. And there is brads there. Now the brads, um, I oozed Fabri-Tac into the straw and then stuck the brads in there until it's set up. So, uh, and hey, look, if you want to replace these, you might have to um, pull or you might have to change the straw and redo that. But um, really cute. I love how this flips open and she can get access to it easier. And okay, we're going to move on because, you know, she gets stuck on a tangent there. Really cute. I love the cluster. And my last thing is another crafter's choice. And this is a SVG file from the Silhouette Design Store. It was normally larger and I shrunk it down. I was trying, this is one of the first things I made, the first bags, because I wanted a, that's when I found out that it was three and a half by four and a half. And I thought, oh, I'll just shrink this down to three and a half by four and a half or something close to it, right? Yeah, no. <laughs> okay, it turned out really cute. And um, it is, sorry, my right side of my ruler, at the widest point, it's five and a half. And if you include the handle, it's five and a quarter. So if you include just the top, it's a little less, it's three and three quarters. I'd make sure those were quarters and not eighths. <laughs> Thank God they're not sixteenths, right? <laughs> All right, so my scan cut did a really great job at cutting this. I thought for sure these little tiny pieces here would just die in it, but nope, they worked fine. My problem, child, was this. It's so wide. So normally when I'm in canvas workspace and I'm shrinking down one, I group everything together and it pops up into a square, all the pieces. And then I take one corner and drag it in or out, depending on whether I want to go larger or smaller. And that way it is uniformly larger and not distorted. Now, if I choose to do this again and I want it narrower, I'm going to put this piece by itself <laughs> afterwards and then bring the sides in so that it's a little narrower. In this case, it worked for me because I made an embellishment box and it fit right inside. I just like to do a belly band for my embellishment boxes. That way the recipient, once they use all the pieces, they can use the reuse the box. Or if they don't wanna keep their stuff in the box and they wanna move it to their own storage system, then they can and then they have the box separate that they can do on their own and they can reuse the belly band, whatever they wanna do. So that's just a cluster of, um, I think this is cardstock from the paper pad, a vellum one because I love them, some stickers and uh, papery, and then an embellishment in the center. And then I did, ooh, sorry, let me just, okay. So basically what I have in here are beads and bead caps and um, rondelles. Basically in here are charms, and these are the flower tassels. And then these are mostly cabochons. Um, hi. hi, Lila. But some things wouldn't fit in places, so they're kind of a spillover. Like there's a bead, there's a cabochon. So anyway, that's what I have for her. Um, please check out all the ladies. I want to thank you all so much for your crafty love and support. I ask that if you please have, if you have not already, please help my channel grow by subscribing, liking, and leaving a friendly comment below. As you know, the thumbs ups are really great. So um, I will catch you in my next video. Until then, yikes, cat. God bless you and yours. Bye for now.